Levi tried to stop me today. He seems to be operating under the assumption that I've gone completely insane. He seems to believe that what I'm doing is a crime against nature, against humanity. He tried to restrain me when I came close to my office door. And as a precautionary measure, he had even attempted to lock the door from the outside. He didn't think that I would be passionate enough about this to break through that old wood and tear myself away from his grasp. He is... He's going to be fine. I did hurt him just a little bit, but he'll be fine. And in any case, he has only himself to blame for this. After all, he is trying to stop my research. He is trying to put an end to my very important work. This is not something unholy like he thinks it is. This isn't some horrific act that I'm committing in an effort to destroy the balance of nature. Nature is already unbalanced. Titans kill everyone we care about. They destroy our homes. They destroy everything in their path. They took you from me. They took you before I had the chance to... They are not going to get away with that. They have succeeded in doing this far too many times, and it's about time that we put an end to it once and for all. I know that this seems like such a scary concept if you don't understand it, but really... How is this any different from performing surgery or something along those lines? We save lives that way. We cut into flesh. We tear out organs and bones. All so that people can live. All so that people can heal from whatever illness has afflicted them. And the human body is a true carnival of horrors besides just surgery. There are antibiotics. Poison meant to kill things that are living inside of you. There's exercise, which is forcefully burning up your insides. And then there are vaccines now, injecting dead viruses into you so that your body can try to kill them and then be able to kill the actual living viruses. It's... It is horrifying. The things that we do to keep ourselves alive and healthy... It is truly astonishing the things we are able to do. This seems horrifying as well. It seems completely out of this world. People were skeptical of vaccines when they were first proposed. However, now, ever since the plague, people are lining up every time there's a new one. And surgery? We used to be so afraid of it, but now we can perform surgeries in the field, as needed, of course. And antibiotics? Some people will purchase those things without being told to by a doctor. They will assume that they're sick and assume they know how to treat themselves. It's foolish, of course, and extremely reckless, but they do it anyway. They feel safe enough to do that. These things, they were all viewed as absolutely insane. They were viewed as possibly crimes against nature, upending the balance of this world. But now, they are viewed as true marvels of science. Medical miracles. This will be the same someday. Once I have succeeded with you, people will want this. If they meet an untimely end, 
If they were dying, they would ask us to do everything in our power to save them. Why not continue to do that, even after they've passed? If it isn't their time, then we should try to bring them back, shouldn't we? If it isn't their time, we should try to make sure they can hold out until it is, shouldn't we? I don't understand why Levi can't see that. Contrary to his belief, I have not lost my mind due to all of this loss and all of this grief. I have spent weeks on this. Harnessing the power of lightning so that I could get your heart beating again. I spent hours collecting blood from different cadets with the same type as yours so that you would be able to keep your organs alive. And I spent entire days repairing the damage that was done to your body by the titan that got you. I am not going to let all of that go to waste. If it doesn't work, then... Then it doesn't work. I will be disappointed. I'll be racked with guilt and grief. But I will understand if it doesn't work. And if it does, if this is something that can actually save you, I can't just give up on that chance. I have to see this through. I have to try. I loved you. I still do. And until you know that, I am not going to stop. Until I have told you. Until I have seen the way you react, I am not going to give up on you. I don't care. How long I have to keep trying and trying and trying. As long as I can get just a minute with you to tell you how I feel, I am going to do whatever it takes. Now then, the final preparations are in order. The storm that I was tracking is moving closer and closer. In fact, it should be right over our heads soon. For your sake, I certainly hope you don't feel the effects of the lightning when you wake up. However, it would be rather astonishing if you did. But, but of course, my main priority is you. Your comfort, your safety, your health. As long as all of that is protected, that is all that matters to me. Now I'll just perform another quick checkup to make sure absolutely everything is in order. Let me just see here. Yes, I've been able to rewarm you to 98.6 degrees. That is the average temperature for people your age. It might not be your average temperature, but, but most people who have a different average temperature tend to err on the cooler side. And... Since this is going to be a great shock for your body, I figured it can't hurt to let you be a bit warmer. And now I need to move your hand a little bit. Excellent. I've been able to preserve your body enough that rigor mortis hasn't set in. You don't stay the way that your body is positioned. Perfect, perfect. And then your reflexes. Now, some of them aren't going to be intact since your brain function is... Well, your brain hasn't exactly been functioning recently. I did absolutely everything in my power to make sure that your brain is safe and well. I can only hope that it worked. After all, if I were to check on it, that could be catastrophic. Any damage to your brain right now could have detrimental effects on your ability to live and, and to function 
in everyday life again. I don't want you to have any more setbacks than you already have. Let me just check your knees, though. Those reflexes should be intact. Yes, perfect. And everything else about your body seems to be just fine. Your incisions, of course, from all of the surgeries haven't healed. That's normal, though. After all, once your body thinks that you're dead forever, it doesn't really try to sustain itself. It can't, in fact. So, in light of this, I am going to inject you with a painkiller and a sedative beforehand, just to make sure the first few moments aren't too overwhelming or excruciating. Let me see, where did I put... There they are. Let's do this one here. And this one... Actually, I'll inject the painkillers a bit closer to your wounds. After all, once your heart starts pumping and the blood starts flowing through your veins, it'll then reach the wounds very quickly. So that should stop any pain before it starts. There we go. And now... Excellent, excellent. We are right on schedule. The storm is right above us now. Soon. Soon you'll come back to us. Soon I can hold you in my arms and I can tell you all of the things I never could. I know that it's going to be extremely overwhelming. You might actually become a bit upset or aggravated because of it. But I promise you, no matter what, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make this easy for you. I know that it's a bit of an empty promise. This might never be easy for you. But I will be damned if I allow you to die like this. Do you hear that sound? Everything is starting to get running. Just a few more moments. Just a few more moments. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be holding your hand like... <gasps> <sighs> yes. Yes. The electricity is flowing through you. I can see it. I can hear it. I... I can smell it. The scent of electricity in the air. It's... It's electrifying. Huh. <gasps> Your hair is standing on end, as is mine. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <sighs> that was... all of the electricity that Bolt of Lightning had to offer. Let me see if your heart has started beating yet. I... I don't hear anything. Your heart is... It's still... No. 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 I did not do all of this just so that... So that you can stay dead. You are coming back to me, do you understand? I... I can try to resuscitate you manually, just like I did then. Come on, come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <gasps> it's so... so weak. If I weren't looking for it, I don't think I'd even be able to feel it. That you have a heartbeat now. You have... You have a pulse, too. Let me listen to your lungs. <sighs> I can hear you breathing. If you can hear me, try to open your eyes. Please, please try to open your eyes. Maybe, maybe I gave you too much of the sedative. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to hold this light toward your eyes. It's going to be okay, it's going to be okay, though. <sighs> you 
Your pupils. They're responding to light. Let me check some of your other reflexes. Yes. Yes, that's intact. I'm sorry. I need to prod the back of your mouth real quick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here. Your body is alive again. Your spirit might not have returned just yet, but... But your body is alive! <laughs> I can't believe I almost thought Levi convinced me that I was crazy! You're alive! You're alive! <laughs>